So you're beginning your streaming journey and you don't want to spend a bunch of time setting up. You'd like to get up and streaming in a couple of minutes with a decent looking stream. I got you. Second scenario, you've been streaming for a little bit, but you realize you kind of messed up with your OBS setup. There's too many sources and scenes and you dread organizing all that stuff. So now you want to start from scratch. I got you. Here are the things that I'm not going to linger on. Going to obsproject.com and downloading the right one for your system. Opening the setup files, clicking next, 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 finish. Good job. Now you're opening up OBS for the first time and it launches a auto configuration wizard. That's a good wizard. That's Gandalf. Do whatever he says. I am Gandalf. It's going to tell you, oh, you want to record? You want to stream? What do you want to do? And you're going to be like, yes, I want to stream. I want to stream on Twitch. It's going to be like, oh, okay, log in with your account. And then it's going to analyze your computer. It's going to say, hey, based on your internet and your hardware, those are the best settings for you to stream at. And then boom, now you're good to go. Every time you click start streaming, it's going to stream to your Twitch channel if you connected with that account. But here's the problem. Your screen probably looks like this, completely empty. No scenes, no sources, nothing to broadcast. This is where you're going to go to Elgato's website and download something called the Marketplace Connect for OBS. You click download, you put it somewhere, you install it. It's going to install it in OBS. Most likely it's going to ask you to restart OBS if you had it open. When you open OBS back up, you go to tools and you'll see something up there called Elgato Marketplace Connect, right? Yours is going to be empty and all you have to do is click on that little colorful icon here and it will bring you to the marketplace. This is basically where you can choose what your stream is going to look like. Now, not all of it is free, but there's a ton of free options. Pretty cool free options too. You even get some branded stuff like Doom. Look at this thing. Also, no, this is not sponsored. I I'm an Elgato partner, but like I'm not trying to sell you. I'm showing you free stuff. Anyways, uh, click get. Uh, you can click open here if you want to, but basically it's going to appear here. If it doesn't, uh, you can close it and bring it back up. And look at that. You ready? Click on the download thingy thing. Wait for it to download. Okay, loading collection. Get started. Collection name, I'm going to call it Doom. Little pop up. Select your webcam. It is I. Click continue. Select your microphone. Oh, look at that. It's the right microphone. Boom, continue. And then you get this. Now, if you look on the left here, we realize that we have a bunch of scenes now. This is just instructions. So for this specific thing, if you want to edit the font and all that, you can download the font and install it on your computer. I double clicked on that text. Copy, put that in a browser, get font, download, right click, install. And I'm pretty sure I already had that. Install, install, install. I'm pretty sure I had that. Oh, there it is. All right, so this was just a little sidebar. I'm going to reload this just to make sure the fonts are applied. Okay, let's check out our starting soon scene. Look at that. Look at that. You get a stinger transition, 3D stinger transition with a countdown timer for when you're starting. Okay, cool. Then we have stream green screen, specific scene. So if I had a green screen, this would be perfect. But uh, let me turn off my camera to see what it would look like. So yeah, my head would be floating above this basically, but that's not my case. So it's fine. 16 by nine camera. Now I have this type of overlay instead. Again, if I want to turn off the camera, see what that looks like. This is pretty cool. Is this animated? It is. The chain is, the chain is moving. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I can turn the frame off. I can turn the camera off and I already have a display slash game capture, but we're going to get into that really, really soon. Uh, BRB scene, similar to the starting soon. Intermission screen, we are turn the camera back on. Hi, it's me. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty dope. Ending scene. And then at the bottom here, you can see like there's a scene here that has nothing, but it's basically a separator to tell you, hey, those are editable scene. Let's say that you want to add, you know, certain things to your camera. Anything you, ha you add here is actually going to be, just to show it to you, is going to be applied to every scene where your camera already is, right? Let's do something silly. Put this here. So now if I go back to my intermission screen, my camera is going to have this thing because that's what it uses. So those are like scenes within scenes, but it's already set up for you. But yes, it means that the gameplay scene is also going to have that same thing. All right, go back to camera and delete that thing, pressing delete. And then there's display game capture. There it is. Now, cool thing is you already have three sources. Display capture, game capture, or window capture. Display capture, if I want to choose a display, I would just have to pick one. Right now, I didn't have anything picked. So now my gameplay scene is the display capture plus my camera, right? But if it's a game capture that I want, all I have to do is turn off display capture, pick game capture, select which game or which type of capture that I want. Any full screen application, I turn on the game, automatically captures it. Specific window, just in case, that's my favorite thing to do. And then I can pick the game if I had it open, all right? Window capture, same thing. You pick the specific window and it will show. And um, I got to say, that's it. <laughs>
that's it. You successfully uh, have your setup. Now you can go live. Now, the only thing that is missing is your alert, for example. And if you go back to the Elgato marketplace and you type Doom in the search bar, you're going to see that, well, if you have, you know, Elgato products, there's a icon set, there's a screensaver for the stream deck. There are also sound effects that you can use as alerts. And there's even Doom music that you can play uh, during the starting soon screen if you want, or just as alert also. Now the specific Doom scene collection does not come with alerts, but you can see that some of them actually do. So what we can do is set up a very basic stream element alert box. Go to streamelements.com, log in with your account, go to dashboard. On the left, you will see streaming tools. You can see overlays, click no overlay, click start, click add widget, alert, alert box and boom there you have it if i test it out follow our event you're gonna have the default alert box from stream elements all you have to do now is top left name it okay top right save it and then click on copy overlay url then from there you can add your alert box to every scene where you need alerts to show so i'm gonna click on plus under sources click on browser it's a brow browser source call this one alert box Paste that link that we just copied from Stream Elements, click OK, and uh, we're pretty much good to go. <laughs> like you can stream now, you have alerts. If I wanna test it, see what it would look like on stream, I can do this and then from there, I can place it wherever I want. Uh, of course, you can go into Stream Elements and customize it a little bit, add those audios and things, but I'm not gonna cover that. You have a stream, your stream is complete, you have alerts, you can click start streaming and your stream kind of looks dope, not gonna lie. Now, in case you don't want to use stream elements, there's also Streamlabs, which is pretty much the exact same setup. Uh, it's pretty intuitive, you can figure it out. But if I go back here in stream elements, there's also something called overlays gallery. And then here, they also have some free stuff that you can use, including, you know, alert boxes, including overlays. So what I would do if I were you is go to alerts and you can see you have quite the choice here. Uh, click on something like black and gold lines, see what it looks like. I'm going to click create a new overlay and it will create basically a brand new one, except you will have this design. Click continue. Boom. Look at that. You can already copy the link and bring it into OBS. So I'm going to double click on that alert box that I made. This time I'm going to paste the new link if you want to test it, if you want to edit it, or if you want to add some more stuff, see what that looked like. Okay. Click emulate follower event, for example, and boy, yow. how does that look in OBS? Oh, we encounter a little problem here. It doesn't quite fit. That's because it is set to 1080p. So where it says width and height, 1920, 1080 and click OK. I'm going to press control D to center it. And now it should be completely fine. There you go. <laughs> you are good to go now uh, because it's me and you know, I want it to be really good. I feel like the doom theme is more orangey and not really gold. So what I would probably do is add a filter to that alert box. I would right click on it, click filters. I would click on the plus under filters, go to color correction and then basically play, click OK, play with the hue until it looks a little bit orange. So hue shift, let's bring that right there nice pop up the saturation and there you go a little bit better just a little bit better all right so it matches a little bit again you want to place it in every scene where you want some alerts and uh yeah this was all completely free and it was really that fast you can probably do it faster if you're not recording yourself and explaining every single step all right now just to clarify this is a scene collection uh, if you go on top on OBS, you'll see scene collection, doom. So if you want to have something else, you can actually get a bunch of overlays. And honestly, you can straight up switch up overlays whenever you want to stream something different if you wanted to. But basically through the Elgato Marketplace content here, if I downloaded something else, it would not affect the original. It would not affect this. It would just create another scene collection that you can just switch to. That's it. That's all you need to know for now. If you want to learn like the methodical approach to OBS, you should definitely watch my other step-by-step uh, -step tutorials explaining everything in detail. I am Gandalf. <laughs>